Welcome to episode 699, Chris Horn, 10 Trading Lessons. This is an outline of episode 699, lesson 1 to lesson 5. This is an outline of episode 699, lesson 6 to lesson 10. Lesson 1. In 2019, he is the most successful trader in the world. These are the top 5 highest paid hedge fund manager in 2019. Chris Horn is number one. Jim Simon is number two. Ken Griffin is number three. Steve Cohen is number four. And Chase Coleman is number five. Now, how good a trader is he? In 2014, he broke UK divorce record, paying his ex-wife $500 million divorce settlement. In six short years, he more than recovered. Lesson two, you can do better than your ex-boss. His ex-boss was named Richard Perry, who was a hedge fund billionaire in 2008. Richard Perry dropped out of billionaire rank, and in 2016, he even closed his hedge fund for good. Here's a picture of Richard Perry and his wife. Lesson three, his secret is finding alpha. So is Alpha Dad? I don't believe so. There's really no shortage of opportunities and Alpha generation uh, in, in our view. Uh, and uh, since 2010, the fund has returned 18% per annum. We're up 22% net fees this year and 18% a year so over the 10 years life of the fund. So we're finding plenty to invest in. Has it gone? Lesson four, there are four sources of Alpha. Invest in. Has it gotten harder to find it? Yeah, let's talk um, about how we generate alpha, if that's okay. Uh, okay. Well, for us, we generate alpha through uh, a number of ways. First, lesson five look for business with sustainable advantage. A number of ways. Firstly, understanding the sustainability of business models, understanding business models, and taking a long term horizon over which the persistence of high barriers to entry plays out, very much in the um, philosophy of Warren Buffett. Lesson 6. Deep sector expertise, for example, in infrastructure and in consumer goods. Uh, secondly, we have a deep sector expertise in some sectors, um, including infrastructure and consumer goods, which help us to uh, un understand uh, when opportunities are, are good. Lesson seven, run concentrated position to make meaningful profit. Um, thirdly, we run concentrated. Positions can be in excess of 10% of NAV, and so by concentrating our capital in, in a handful of, of very good ideas, where we find the alpha, it can mean something and can outperform. And, uh, Lesson 8, be corporate activists. This is where few investors are willing to do. Um, and finally, I'll mention the issue of uh, being prepared to be activist, which is an inefficient space where few people are willing to do that and, and we're willing, where appropriate, to, to be activists. Lesson 9, use long-term horizon and use time arbitrage to make a profit. Combination of taking a long-term view, which gives us a time horizon arbitrage. Lesson 10, understanding corporate governance and where inefficiency can be found. Talk a little bit more about why you think the activist space is inefficient. Well, firstly, um, where there's a corporate governance concern, uh, investors just seem to uh, tend to stay away completely. Mm. They don't try to say, uh, um, well, what discount should I apply? And uh, they, they just completely stay away. An example. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.